Miguel Cotto Promotions, the Dallas Cowboys organization, and HBO, I'd like to thank you for coming to today's historic press conference event in the Texas Lottery Lobby. One of Rock Nation's core philosophies has always been to do things differently. When we began planning this event, we took those words very seriously and partnered with the Cowboys organization to host the first professional sporting event at this magnificent facility, Ford Center at the Star. And what an epic event it will be, because returning to the ring for the first time in 15 months will be Puerto Rican legend and future Hall of Famer, Miguel Cotto. On Saturday, February 25th, Miguel will face off against the extremely dangerous James Kirkland in what is sure to be an all-action fight that will thrill mainstream fans as well as boxing purists alike. Tickets for the event go on sale on Thursday, this Thursday, December 22nd at 10 a.m. local time. And the fight will be brought to you live by HBO Pay-Per-View and our presenting sponsor, Corona Extra. This matchup will be one that sports fans simply cannot afford to miss. With Miguel's return for his 10th pay-per-view fight, he is looking to cement his legacy as one of the greatest fighters in boxing history. A man that will fight anyone, anytime, no matter what. Meanwhile, Kirkland has the power and ability to end Cobra's return with one punch as he continues to electrify the sport with his captivating, action-packed style and enters this fight in search of a signature win to boost him to true contender status. For both men, much is at stake, and Rock Nation is thrilled to be the promoter that will deliver this event to a global audience. As mentioned, we would not be here today without the support and cooperation of one of the world's most storied and respected sports organizations, the Dallas Cowboys, and their visionary owner and leader, Jerry Jones. There's no doubt that Mr. Jones is a titan in the sports and entertainment industry, and his involvement in this event adds a level of quality, excitement, and fanfare that only he can deliver. I also want to applaud his and the Cowboys' vision in bringing a world-class boxing event to Ford Center. This incredible facility was built to host epic global events. And I am confident that on February 25th, this venue will provide a unique and iconic setting for an action-packed bout. So now, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce the man most responsible for bringing the return of Miguel Cotto to the Lone Star State. The world's greatest promoter and a huge boxing fan in his own right, Dallas Cowboys owner, president, and general manager, Mr. Jerry Jones. Thank you, Michael, and uh, I do want to thank you for your attendance today. Uh, we're fresh off of an exciting evening that we had last night. Uh, we made it uh, a little closer. I will leave you here and we're going to mm -hmm. be watching films and I think we're going to find out that uh, we made enough mistakes in the game that uh, we did make it uh, more competitive than we wanted it to be, but we're thrilled to death. I'm proud of the guys that are about uh, 100 yards away for their effort that they had last night. I'm really proud to be standing here. When we thought about the star, when we thought about the Ford Center, this event center that you have here, uh, the dream was to uh, have the partnership that we have with the city of Frisco and the, and the education department uh, of this area and join with them in doing everything we could to enhance the amateur experience for young people. And uh, we wanted Frisco uh, to be an example and so the visibility of what we do here at this center is a big deal. Uh, I deliberately create, try to create confusion 
to have the star uh, not confused but mixed with what we have at AT&T Stadium. And because when we have announcements or we have things here, I really want fans all over the country to wonder, well, is that the star or is that the stadium? All I know is uh, it's got some of the oil and uh, something we're very proud of, and that's the NFL, the Dallas Cowboys. This is very propitious to be here right now because we are having, uh, at this juncture, a great year. We have a lot of attention. We have, uh, if you will, the nation that's uh, interested in sports and interested in football, and they've got their eyes on it. Our dream when we built AT&T Stadium was to have it as well uh, uh, not known and as uh, familiar as Madison Square Garden, which was always the venue that I pictured was the, uh, the epitome of uh, familiarity as far as sports is concerned. Playing, competing at Madison Square Garden was something. I thought that could be uh, something that we could uh, aspire to do with AT&T Stadium. I feel the same way about the star. Consequently, that's a long-winded way of saying uh, for us to have my, uh, Miguel Cotto to, to uh, initially open our professional effort here at the Star is uh, really a dream come true. Uh, I know him to be a competitor. I saw his fight with Alvarez. Uh, I know uh, uh, what a gamer uh, he is, uh, and that's being tried when he's saying. So this does fulfill a dream that we did have when we were building the Ford Center. We're honored to partner with Rock Nation. Uh, we're proud to be Jay-Z's partner. And we're proud of the group of athletes that he's put together. And they mean business. And boy, they want their athletes to be uh, on time and they want them to be as professional as the very sport that they uh, represent. So this is a groundbreaking announcement from that standpoint. Uh, I, I must again mention that the capability of this building was to be versatile for all types of sporting events and, if you will, entertainment events. Uh, I do want to thank again the City of Frisco, our partners. I want to thank the Independent School District, the partnership that we have there. It has been a dream to know that the amateur athletes, the high school athletes, of which on a personal basis I've had a chance to be a part of this weekend, and it just reminds you how exciting amateur sports can be and the high school experience can be. To somehow interject that, join it at the, uh, at the hip with Miguel Cotto, uh, Cotto to have him and his accomplishment be kind of walking out there side by side uh, in a, a, a kind of a visual way is uh, a part of the plan. We have 510,000 square feet in this building. We expect there to be over 10,000 people here to uh, watch this fight. In short, it's great to have you here, Miguel. Uh, it's an honor, really, uh, for you to be here competing. Uh, we're going to be excited about having you. Uh, you have the details. We'll get the details on the availability of the tickets, uh, how uh, we will distribute those. But uh, we look forward to a big fight. I admire these athletes. I admire them. They're out there. There's nobody but them uh, and theirs in that ring. And uh, they basically are giving everything they've got, as we know. So uh, good luck. Good luck. And we're honored that you're opening up with the first professional event at the start. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Now I'd like to specifically thank HBO for bringing this fight to the masses and for continuing to be the best partner the sport of boxing could ever ask for. Here to speak on behalf of HBO pay-per-view is Vice President Tony Walker. Thank you, Michael. Um, hi, everybody. On behalf of the Executive Vice President of HBO Sports, Peter Nelson, and the rest of our staff, I'd like to say thanks for coming out and talking about a little boxing on a brisk fall day. Um, First, I want to thank Rock Nation. This is an outstanding main event. They're going to put together a great undercard for some great boxing for local fans to come see. And I also must thank the Mr. Jones and the Dallas Cowboys. Every time we've been able to do a broadcast here from Dallas, they've been so accommodating. It makes our job so much easier, and we love to come back. We've been honored to have most of Miguel's Cotto's fights on HBO and HBO pay-per-view. 
against the greats, De La Hoya, Mosley, Mayweather, and of course those two epic fights against Antonio Margarito. Those fights all were great shows in the ring. They were also great successes financially, and the one constant in all those fights was the effort that Miguel Cotto gave. Every show was a battle. Every show fans got their money's worth and left, the, left that night thinking, God, I'd love to see this again. I want to say that James Kirkland also has brought that warrior spirit in all his fights. Every show that we've seen him on on HBO, he's on that ring or tried his best to get it. So that clash on February 25th will be decisive as only boxing can provide and will provide the type of drama that uh, we've come to love in the sport. The suggested retail price for pay-per-view is $49.95. It's going to be available wherever you, know, you get your pay-per-view, whether it's cable, satellite, tel the uh, telco companies. And uh, we promise you a great broadcast that night with what we think is the best broadcast team in boxing. So uh, for all of those of you, please let your viewers, readers, listeners know that this is a great show. And uh, for those who cannot make it to this fine arena, please check it out on HBO Pay-Per-View. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. There's no doubt that the state of Texas is home to some of the biggest and most historic events in the world, including Super Bowls, national championship games, and more. And at Rock Nation, we are truly excited to add our name to that list. So let's give a big welcome and a thank you to Texas Combative Sports Program Manager, Mr. Greg Alvarez. everybody coming out today. We're excited once again about uh, getting a big show in Texas. Thank you Mr. Jones here. He promised us a couple months ago that he's going to be pushing to have all the big shows and this is another example of one of the you know, big shows. Two guys who are ready to fight. I've known James since he was eight running around in Austin fighting all the time and though Miguel there uh, his first two fights were here in Texas. As a matter of fact that was one of the first fights that I worked myself and I was in the corner so I'm real excited to have him back. You know just a big happy family because you get to see how everybody develops all these years just coming up. And then to have it here in Texas and to be part of it, you know, it just makes us proud. We're gonna put our best people on the job and make sure we uh, produce a, a good show for everybody where uh, just, it's gonna be enjoyable. And y'all gotta come out here and see this, get it on pay-per-view, but you know, this right here, you wanna see it live because you wanna be able to uh, pass it on to everybody that you were here that day and you know, what action these guys bring. So don't blink, don't close your eyes, because that's the kind of fight it's gonna be. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Before we hear from our fighters and their teams, I'd like to acknowledge rising star and Dallas native, Maurice Mighty Mo Hooker, uh, who will compete on the undercard and is looking to extend his undefeated 21-0-3 record. Great to see you, Maurice. Great to see you. Now, to kick things off for Team Kirkland, we should all be honored to be in the presence of true greatness. Not only is she universally hailed as the greatest women's boxer in history, but she is also a legendary trainer and mentor. And James Kirkland is undefeated with her by his side. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a woman who needs no introduction, Ann Wolf. Woo! I know everybody know I'm not one for all that talking, even the shit talking or whatever. Um, every time Miguel has entered the ring, I was rooting for him to win. Every time James has entered the ring, even though I wasn't there, I was rooting for him to win. So this is gonna be the first time that I won't be rooting for Miguel to win. <laughs> now, uh, a lot of people saying that, that, that this should be pay-per-view. Bullshit. This should be pay-per-view. Because you know, if I'm with James, he's gonna fight. Regardless of who Koro's with, he's gonna fight. So I'm telling you, I'm here to tell y'all, it's gonna be a good fight. Somebody 
is going to get knocked out. So I'm right. Come and watch and see who it's going to be. Woo! Thank you, man. Thank you. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce a man who has earned his reputation as an aggressive, power-punching southpaw. A man with the rare power and ability to end any fight with one electrifying punch. This Austin, Texas native has 32 wins with 28 knockouts against only two defeats and represents one of the most dangerous opponents in the junior middleweight division. He's fought the best of the best and never backed down from his aggressive style. Most recently, against Canelo Alvarez in front of over 40,000 fans and a global HBO audience in Houston. On February 25th, he will have the opportunity to climb the boxing ladder from exciting star to true contender. Please welcome the Mandingo Warrior, Mr. James Kirkland. Foremost, I want to give thanks to God for this opportunity and to my team and uh, my fellow people that's out there actually watching and attending the show. Uh, definitely want to put on a great performance, man. I actually uh, did give my all when it came down to me fighting Alvarez. I didn't prepare the way I needed to. Uh, but this can't, I can't uh, bring no excuses to the table. So this is my. Uh, Duke and do it, for, do it for all, you know, going out there to definitely show uh, not just my team, but my fans, the people just definitely been following me and supporting me that uh, Kirkman is still in the race. Kirkman is still here to make a stand and uh, keep my name alive. So please attend, watch. Here it comes February the 25th. Hey, it's going to be a ball. Now to the other side of the ring, and here to kick off things for Team Cotto is Vice President of Cotto Promotions and one of Miguel's longtime and trusted advisors, Mr. Mr. Hector Soto. Thank you, Michael. Eh, buenas tardes a todos. Primeramente quiero agradecer a nuestro socio Ron Nation Sport. It's a pleasure to be here. Very happy to, to, to be in this, um, this car. And uh, thanks to our partner, Rock Nation. Además, agradecerle a Jerry Jones, a HBO Pay Per View, a Corona, por hacer realidad este evento. I want to say thank you to Mr. Jerry Jones, to Corona, and HBO Pay Per View for putting this event together. Agradecerle al equipo de Kirland por aceptarle este reto. Thank you to Kirkland's team for accepting this challenge. Este febrero 25, eh, el retorno de Miguel va a ser un gran combate y a toda la comunidad hispana que se necesita aquí y, y los esperamos el 25 de, de febrero para que se necesita aquí en, en Dallas. Miguel Cotto is back in the ring. His return is on February 25th. We're excited to see him back. And I exhort everybody, all the, all the Latinos, all the boxing fans here in Dallas to come back, to come by and support. We will have a great show. Gracias a todos. Thank you very much. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. He is a living legend, a Puerto Rican icon, a national hero, a future Hall of Famer, and the first Puerto Rican to win four world titles in four different weight classes. He has 40 wins with 33 knockouts against only five defeats. He has earned his reputation for fighting literally anyone and everyone. And on February 25th, he returns to the ring for the first time in 15 months. He is a family man, a community leader, a true titan of this sport, and one of the most lethal men to ever step into the boxing ring. Please welcome Miguel Cotto.
Thank you, Michael. It's good to be back. Uh, I miss being uh, involved in boxing for, my, for the last 13, 15 months. And all I can say right now is that I'm going to bring my best every day at, at every training session to bring my best here next February 25th to face James and hopefully take the victory to Puerto Rico. Thank you everybody. Uh, thanks to Curling team for, for making this fight possible and thank you to everybody who got involved to make this fight happen for everybody. Thank you. And there you have it. The narrative